Greetings to the NEM community around the world. This is a new broadcast of NEM Español, the YouTube channel that brings you, mainly in Spanish, every relevant thing that happens in the NEM blockchain ecosystem. I'm your host, Alexis Trujillo. We live in times of interacting crowds. Modern states have adopted systems able to know a citizen's identity by biometric footprint, claiming the preservation of security, but debates have been initiated in many places as to whether it's also an invasion of individuality. There are non-governmental organizations that lead the debate and want to bring governments, civil society and the business sector together for a consensus using new technologies such as blockchain. Blockchain for Europe is one of them. And Jinsk.com more dedicated to the citizen and consumer's identity issue. These two organizations have joined forces in a project that could bring ease to the problem, Defined.id. In this project, NEM Catapult has been chosen as the engine of a structure that validates personal identity documents for the benefit of the citizen and converts them into useful information that can be used by the third parties he decides. I know it's pretty in, it's pretty important for, for for the individual to preserve their own data, but how about car, corporations? How about governments? How do you plan to sell this to governments and corporations? Okay, oh, the question, question is for you both. The <laughs> question is for you both, and okay, don't fight each other. Just okay. okay. Um, I think. Uh, It's, it's more in general. I'm a little bit uh, from a, from an older generation. I, I, I started to work in IBM and from the beginning. You saw especially governance, uh, governance uh, looking for good ID solutions. And but because every country uh, had their own system, etc., that didn't speed up things. Um, so once once more there again, you have this. Uh, you have technology uh, that plays the role like of course we have internet we have uh, we have uh, mailing systems etc but if you can start from there that gives a uh, completely different uh, business models in the genes.com environment we call it g notes because you give part of your uh, you give trust to official uh, companies to governance it's not only the government it's, it's not only the bank it's your insurance company Um, it's even the, the park, the parking company that, that knows when you are in the parking, etc. So what we are working on is just this uh, different niches in privacy, so you can delegate part of your privacy um, to this kind of organizations. But all the time, as a user, you are empowered to do that, and that is where we can, we absolutely need the defined ID uh, project. Yeah. So actually, you asked about. Um, uh, how governments can be convinced that, you know, technology like this is necessary. Actually, I think um, when I see from engaging with um, people in the European Union, the European Commission, and, and also in some member states, because I'm, I'm uh, actually actively involved with those things by being in, in the Blockchain for Europe uh, Association. And um, it's very clear that, you know, you would be amazed how far some of these governments are in their thinking about how this can benefit society. And uh, just for, for example, um, in Europe, there's a, there's a European initiative that's already looking into what self-sovereign identity solutions can do um, in res with respect to governmental uh, uh, implementation. And the, the, the thing I really like is that they're not really um, building their own technology and enforcing that onto people, but they're really building a platform where different self-sovereign identity solutions can um, be leveraged. And, and, and so they're, they're taking a very open mind uh, into this. It's still in a pretty early stage, but um, I'm, I actually, I'm actually in contact with one of the, the people that's leading uh, these projects and um, the entire uh, population can start using solutions. Okay, I have to thank you both for your time, uh, uh, Jack in, in Vilnius and, um, and Christoph in Antwerp. But I want you to leave us a final thought about this technology and where is it heading? 
in order to make us a better life through blockchain. I think, as said, I, there was, okay, there is a lot of implementation from governments. There is a lot of initiatives. I think if we can put somehow uh, good standards, even for simple things in combination with new technologies coming, for example, what is uh, what will be in, in catapult. Um, I think also governments will pick it up easier, not only government, but also big corporations. Uh, one of the big corporations we're working for the moment is, is IBM, for example, also very active in, in blockchain, but also very interested in what we are building for the moment, conceptually. Um, I know FANEM is, uh, is a foundation, uh, Genes.com is also a foundation, and I, I heard that now also in, the, in California, Silicon Valley, more and more uh, new, new concepts, technologies, ecosystem starts around the foundation, and then you can make for-profit organizations uh, around it. So, but uh, one of the major things, and I think, is, is to tackle the ID, the digital ID in general, not only for people, also for services and products. It starts, it starts from the digital ID. It's, everything starts from a description, from an uh, identification, after all. I think self-sovereign identities have a, a, a huge potential to actually uh, empower people. And the way I see this evolve in the future is instead of having multiple accounts and passwords and things like that, um, and seeing different blockchain applications being built in a silo where um, some of these companies, projects that build on, on, top of, uh, on, on top of blockchain. And this doesn't necessarily have to be all on them. You can also combine it, you know, it, it's not, uh, it, it, at this point in time, it's uh, defined ideas, obviously strictly, um, strictly linked to them. But I see in, in the future, you know, you, you could build on top of that and, and, and things like that. But at this point in time, you find that is, is really has really a lot of potential to help people make life easier and ensure more trust and privacy. And I think that's a very powerful and important thing. The first phase was the more like core stuff and, and behind the scenes, you know, back end stuff. And now uh, Jacques' team is working on uh, the, the, the actual implementation, the front end stuff, and uh, it looks very promising. So and I, I guess in a couple of months, uh, the NEM community will be able to experience how, uh, how all of this was set up and, and how, um, well, powerful this, uh, this solution can be. And I'm very excited to um, actually put this technology in the hands of, uh, of the NEM community and much more obviously than just the NEM community also the, the enterprise customers that, uh, that Jack has. Uh... Yeah, and if I can say so, we are in the NAM community, we are pretty excited about what's to come with blockchain and security and what you can bring, we invite you all to leave us your messages to our social media, to this and other, other channels we've left you to, you know, to give you our messages in order to improve every time. Let's say goodbye for now to Christoph and Jack from Antwerp and, and, and Bill News. Goodbye, guys. Thank Thanks. you. I like you. Thank you, Christoph. Have a nice time. Bye.